how to downgrade your iOS version. So if you have updated to iOS 16 beta and for example, your banking apps or your blood glucose apps aren't working, then here's how to downgrade your version without losing anything, anything. So you would first off need a Windows computer with free you tools downloaded if you're using mac os you will need boot camp which i'll leave a video on how to install windows on boot camp on mac so yeah that'll be linked in the description and also the free you tools link will be also in in the description for you to download it so you'll need free you tools downloaded once free you tools has installed you would want to open it and then obviously click the yes button then connect your device through usb if you have a usb port free and once the device is connected you would want to hit OK or allow on the uh, device and then enter the device passcode. And then wait for this to load your information. Then select Flash and then select the software version you want. It has to be still signed by Apple. And then you click flash and then flash again. Then wait for the software to download. Make sure your computer is plugged in throughout this entire process. Then it would say verifying after the download. And sometimes it will automatically begin flashing the software for the downgrade process. If it doesn't, just click flash. And then you might get a pop-up saying, Fan my iPhone is on. Just click yes. And then it should begin doing this. And then in the second, your device should have an Apple logo and a loading bar. Sometimes it may ask for your passcode. Other times it might not. And it should reboot. Don't worry if it gets to this. It should go off. And then come up with the Apple logo. And just wait. And then the and then the loading bar should appear. It's very important that you don't disconnect the cable from the laptop or the device because if you do the device will be bricked and you'll have to take it into apple to fix it which then you'll lose everything so let's wait for this to finish and for this to finish as well when it's done the first part it'll reboot and then you would need to click the OK button. Then close out the app and then you should be done. If not, let's wait for the second bar and then it'll be done. And you should have your data. Thanks for watching.